Hi, everybody. Happy Monday. I'm going to wait a little bit. Can you guys hear me okay? Can you hear me okay? I'm like using my phone and my computer. I just want to make sure you can hear me okay. Um, I'll just stay on here and chit chat. And if you can't hear me, then uh, nobody's on here watching. So uh, hi, everybody. My name is Erin from Juniper and Oaks. I'm a crochet pattern designer. And I love to host crochet logs. Typically, um, in the past month, I have been uh, doing videos for the Plants with Yarn crochet along. And I've been doing designer chit chats every day. So um, today, I do not have a designer on with me. <laughs> I do have one of my kids. Hi, Bix. Um, okay, I don't know if you need to. He's playing Switch, and we're just trying to figure that out. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. Controllers. Do, do, do. Turn. Oh, no. Hi. I'm trying to get my kids to switch to work. Okay, I think it I think it's working now. Hi, can you hear me okay? Uh, let me know if you can. Sorry about that. I am a crochet pattern designer and I'm also a mom to three kids and all of them are home today. It's summer break and uh, no childcare. So you might see my kids come in and out today and that's just fine. Um, so as I was saying, hi to everyone who is watching live and I want to give a special shout out to everyone who's watching the replay uh thank you so much for joining in I love you guys I really love my crochet community and I'm so glad that you're able to watch hi if you're watching in live or even if you're watching the replay uh tell me where you're watching in from and whether or not you are participating in the plants with your own crochet log typically on these episodes I uh have been doing designer chit chats with the uh, designers for the Plants with Yarn Crochet Along. This is a month-long crochet along that I'm running on my website. Um, you can continue watching, or you can continue crocheting along past the month of June, but if you, um, anyway, the patterns are just being released all month long. If you're joining in late and you haven't gotten um, access to all the charts, um, or if you're watching the replay, like further down the load, road don't worry all of the charts for the plants with yarn crochet along are still available for free on the designers websites um so let me know in the comments where are you watching in from and are you joining in on this crochet along this blanket was designed by myself and nine other crochet designers um who i've been uh many of them who i've come to know as my crochet yarny besties um and I've been able to chit chat with most of them on here, either live or a pre recorded interview. Unfortunately, Katarina, the designer behind today's pattern, um, the lucky bamboo here, this is the pattern that is launching today. The square that's launched today is the lucky bamboo pattern from Katarina uh, Frankie Kate. She uh, unfortunately can't join us live or pre recorded. Um, I think she's, um, she's not able to do that right now. So I'm just going to be on here doing my own little chit chat. Um, it's supposed to be called a whips and sips or sips and whips or something like that. Unfortunately, I was having too much fun with my son playing Nintendo Switch. We just discovered this game, um, Bowser's Fury. And we've just been, um, well, my little ones have been taking a nap. I mean, we're playing this and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's two o'clock. We got to jump on here. Um, <laughs> so I don't have my sips. I don't have a drink here. Uh, that's okay. I might get parched, but what are you guys sipping on? Let me know what you're sipping on here. I want to give a special shout out to Valerie Alexander, uh, one of my super fans, as well as Lita Martin, another one of my super fans. Awesome. So glad you guys are here. Um, Valerie is testing a summer top for Foz Boss, which um i was hoping to talk with her i don't think i'll be able to talk with her because of her schedule um, but she'll be featured on wednesday 
Um, not doing the pants with the hot cow because they don't do corner to corner anymore. Yeah, makes sense. Um, and she's from Washington. Lita finally found out how to decrease corner to corner. So she's going to start back again. I'll start the block again. Yeah, so it's a little different. Um, learning how to do the increases and decreases. If you need a little bit more practice with your decreases, I have a bookmark pattern. It's the simple corner to corner bookmark pattern that teaches you how to do increases and decreases. So this blanket here is using corner to corner crochet, which if you don't know, here, I'll do this one because this is today's features pattern. It starts down here in the corner and you work diagonally, zigzag up, zigzag up. And um, you don't really zigzag, but diagonal back and forth, up like that. So that's quarter to quarter. And what you do is you increase and you add more squares. But when you get you know, to your biggest point, you start decreasing on the side and it just works up a little bit different. So I have some tutorials that I've linked here um, on how to do corner to corner crochet, both the increases and the decreases so that you can um, get some tips and hints there. Uh, Lita's having coffee. Sunny Marie is having some lucky charms. Hooray, hooray. I'm not gonna talk the whole time about this blanket, um, even though I love it so much. Uh, this is the Plants with Yarn Crochet Along, and I put a link here in the description to find out more about this blanket. Um, there'll be, if you go to the landing page for this crochet along, you get all the information, um, links to all the charts that have been released. You can also have a link to buy the full written corner corner pattern. There's also different tutorials to teach you how to do this. I'm not gonna lie, if you're not following along and maybe, um, <laughs> maybe Valerie knows this too, the corner to corner with color work is, uh, it's not the easiest thing to do. Uh, so I have a video with some tips and tricks on what to do. Um, so go over there and you can find all that you need to know. I Valerie was having some black tea and I had to switch from coffee due to bad reactions. Oh no. Um, I have some cold coffee over in the kitchen, but you know what I'm going to do? Just hold on everybody. I am going to grab my water bottle because I'm a little bit parched. Um, I've been finding myself needing to drink more and more water. I just got this water bottle, Victory Center Bible Camp. This is a Bible camp where my um, my husband and I met when we were little, little kids. It's like this camp tradition that's been in our family forever. Like, I think my grandpa was on the board. My grandmother was a cook. My mom went there when she was a kid. I grew up going there. And then my husband's parents were the camp directors for as long as I can remember. Anyway, my son, Bixby, he just finished first grade. And this was his first summer that he could go. So we drove up to South Dakota. Well, we flew up. It's kind of like a hybrid drive and fly and whatever. Make it worth our finances and our time. Anyway, so I was there. I had to get myself a water bottle. That feels better. Mm -hmm. Anyway, my son at camp, he was like, oh, I wonder if I'm going to meet my wife there. I'm like, oh, boy, you're in first grade. Just, like, calm it down. Um, he had a lot of fun. And I don't think he met his wife. He didn't really, like, make friends with many people besides this cabin leader. <laughs> okay. So switching back to crochet related stuff. Since I'm not able to do the designer chit chat with Katarina today, I thought we would just have a little whips and sips conversation, um, figure out, talk to you a little about, about my summer crochet plans. What fun are we having with our crochet this summer? Let me know in the comments um, what's on your hook this summer. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit about mine. I know a lot of you have the Plants with Yarn Cal on your uh, whips list this summer. Thankfully, mine is done. <laughs> I don't have that going on right now, but I'm going to continue to promote that um, all June and maybe even for um, into July and August as well. Um, but I do have a few things that are on my hook. Let me show you the things that are on my hook. In the meantime, let me know what's on yours. Uh, leave a comment below. Um, since we're talking about corner to corner, the first thing that I have here is a 
completely white uh, corner to corner blanket. It's going to be a similar size to the Plants with Yarn Cal. Um, I'm using an H hook though, so the, the gauge is a little bit different. But it's just completely white. It's like 75 by, I think I'm going to try to make it 100. I don't have enough yarn to do 100. Um, but about 75 rows by 100 rows. So this one's not going to be a square. It's going to be a whole rectangle. Um, I know it's all white. I have plans for this blanket. We'll see. Um, I'm going to run out of yarn for it soon. I'll have to or order some more. The yarn that I'm using is Mighty Stitch from We Crochet. Mighty Stitch. We Crochet. It's a worsted wet yarn. It's really soft. It's um mostly acrylic yarn with 20% superwash wool as well. I really like this yarn. Uh, Mighty Stitch. So this is just a white corner to corner blanket. Um, and this is really easy to work up in my downtime. <laughs> uh, like I can watch movies, I can listen to the sermon at church um, and just whip it up because it's not color work. It's just a white blanket. So that's kind of something that I do when I just don't need to think about anything. Um, not sure when that's going to get done. But I have another thing on my hook. Which, if you watched my stories when I was traveling to South Dakota, you might have seen this one. I'm working on a... Here's a steeze coming. <coughs> Sorry. Might have been loud. There's another one coming. Guys, this is live, so you just get me on all my sneezy sneezes. Um, it's been raining so much here for like the last two weeks so I think I don't know allergies something or other but I'm working on my first top down garment um I got this yoke going I've never made anything like this so forget that my phone over here is where my video is see that this yarn is um Baraco Remix Light. I got this from my local yarn store. And it's nylon and cotton and acrylic and silk and linen. Oh, so a big old blend. But yeah, blue's like one of my favorite colors. So I'm gonna make a t-shirt. And let me show you what t-shirt I'm working on. This, these are the instructions. Where's the front? This is a pattern by Two Brothers Blankets. It is called the Franny Flounce Sleeve Tee. And look at that. Look at Michelle. She's so pretty. And look at those sleeves. So that's what I'm making. Hopefully it turns out like that. Um, we shall see. I think that Michelle crochets pretty loose and I crochet pretty tight. So we'll see how this turns out. I um I don't do a whole lot with gauge. I mean, I always put gauge in my patterns if it makes sense. But I don't make a lot of garments for it to make you know where's so anyway her pattern calls for an f a 3.75 millimeter and a 4.5 so i'm just when i made my swatch before i went to south dakota this is what worked and i just hope that it's going to measure out we'll see i know i'm a crocheter who doesn't do much with gauge so those are the two items that are actively on my hook um and these are just for fun. Well, I guess the white blanket I'll turn into a pattern, of course. Um, but then I have an idea to like use it as a mock-up for other corner-to-corner -corner charts. Um, so we'll see. Oh, and then this one is just a for me project. I have linked the pattern um, on Michelle's Etsy. Two Brothers Blankets Etsy. I've linked this pattern if you want to take a look at it. Uh, and if you've noticed anything about the things that I've shown, you'll see that I have girls hooks. I've got a wooden hook and I have their Odyssey hook. These are my favorite, but they're always severely out of stock. And I use girls hooks all the time. 
So those are the two things that are actively on my hook. I, oh, I do have one more thing on my hook. I'm learning how to do, look, Tonya from Nana's Crafty Home. She gave me this for a Secret Santa gift this year. Isn't that sweet? Um, I'm learning how to do mosaic crochet in the round. Valerie asked about mosaic cow. I'm trying to learn how to do mosaic in the round so I can design my own patterns. So that's something. I only have a few rows, but this is um, mosaics by Baby Blanket. So once I learn how to actually do it, then maybe I can design something for later. I'm supposed to be working up a a couple squares for a couple other blanket cows. Um, unraveled mittens blanket cow I have, um, I need to do for next month. And then underground crafter, her blanket cow, I need to do a square for as well. So I need to design those so I can submit those patterns. <laughs> um, but let me tell you, I used to crochet so much when my baby Griffin was a baby and when Piper was a baby. And now that they're both two and three, there's like not enough time to actually crochet the stuff that I have ideas for. There's not enough time, people. Um, okay, so Valerie, I do not have a plan. I do not have a plan with for a plants mosaic, mosaic plants pattern but you're not the first one to, to suggest it melanie from simply melanie designs or crochets or whatever she um she brought that up when i started the plants with yarn cow so maybe i'll do that next summer a mosaic plants with yarn cow um because i do have a couple plants that i've already designed and if you've seen her recently she's designed like a flower pot that has a plant on it. So I think she wants to submit that. So um, I'm brainstorming about it. I don't have it in the works yet um, because I am going to be working on a Christmas cow, um, another Christmas mosaic cow. It's gonna feature a lot of Nordic stars. It is something that I'm designing 100% all by myself. I've done a few like smaller crochet longs, like my bookmark cow and my stocking cow and my pillow cow I just did, the dessert flower pillow cow. But the first big blanket project like this, I haven't ever designed all by myself. So I have like a, I've got the whole blanket sketched out. And I think I have all the X's on it too. So what I need to do is condense that into smaller squares charts and then crochet up the whole thing and get testers and all that so i'm gonna hope to do that mm. i might implement some changes with this crochet along here i am just having this on me but anyway so i do have a christmas mosaic but i'm hopefully going to get this done done this fall um and it will be run differently than i have done in the past but it's all just brainstorm right now because I don't have the yarn or anything yet. And there's no time. Okay, so those are things that are actually on my hook. Uh, please let me know what you are working on in, in the comments. What's on your hook this summer? Okay, so ideas, things that I want to crochet. Like I talked about that mosaic cow. Um, I also have yarn for um, this Abby tea. Fatty Tea from Sunflower Cottage Crochet. I've had this yarn for forever that I got on sale from my local yarn shop. It's the Marisol. So that's another garment. Um, I don't think it's top down. I think it's just front panel, back panel. We'll see if I ever get to this. Sorry guys, I am struggling with these allergies or something. Okay, when I was in Canyon City, Colorado for the 
my mastermind group retreat that I had with Crochetpreneur. Um, we went to the local yarn shop over there called Yarn and Dangerous. Such a beautiful place. Um, I believe I made a reel about it. So go check my Instagram and you can see a reel I have about Yarn and Dangerous. Cutest yarn shop ever. Um, just like cozy and there's antlers and stuff all over the place. But really fun. While I was there, I knew that I couldn't just get any yarn for like um, like a blanket or a shirt or something like big. So I, as you can see, I already have all this yarn and all these other projects, but I did want to support them and I wanted to buy something. So here's what I found. I found some bear yarn. Uh, this is sock yarn, super wash wool. Um, and then I got some writ dye. It's this wine colored purple goodness. So I'm going to dye this yarn and then crochet up some socks. I should really not hide this in my room. I should put this out and about so that I remember. But this is my plan. I'm going to dye this yarn and crochet up some socks. What is your favorite sock pattern? Let me know in the comments. What is your favorite crochet sock pattern? I um, have never crocheted up socks, and I think this has been on my bucket list for more than a year now. Um, a wool and nylon. So let me know. Um, email me or put it in the comments. What is your favorite sock pattern? And I will hopefully crochet these up soon. Um, okay. Those are the kind of things that I'm working on that I'm brainstorming. Catherine is working on a wrap with comfy yarn. Is that yarn, um, is that from We Crochet? I think so. Um, I've never used it, but I've heard it's divine. Um, those are the projects that I have kind of in the works, kind of behind the scenes. So you guys have heard it here first. Um, but some com completed projects that I have finished, besides the plants with yarn blanket, um, recently I published the Piper's bookmark pattern. This is June's bookmark for the uh, bookmark Bonanza crochet along. It's a quick crochet along that I'm hosting all year long or each month. I'm releasing a brand new crocheted pattern for a bookmark. And I've used uh, mini skeins from High Desert Yarn to work these up. So this is Piper's bookmark. Piper's my baby girl. And when she was born or when I was pregnant with her, I crocheted up a blanket that had these same stitches in it. So I basically condensed that pattern into a bookmark and released that in June because both of our birthdays are in June. Um, if you are not working on the bookmark Bonanza Crochet Along, why not? Let me know why you're not doing it. Um, if it's because you've never heard of it, I have linked all of the tutorials here in the comments. You can go check them out. Um, since it's June, there are six plus one bonus, um, bonus patterns that are free on my website, as well as free on YouTube. Um, I have YouTube walkthroughs of all of these patterns. And I'm gonna show you guys July's. July's is this granny circle bookmark pattern. This will be released in July. Um, this was kind of going along with, I learned how to do a granny circle for uh, my rainbow ho pillow pattern that's in the Crochet Foundry magazine. I don't think I linked that here. I should probably link it here. Um, but this Grammy circle one will be the Ju uh, July pattern. But this is long string, makes it nice. So you can like have your book look like this. Dee -dee -dee. It's got this fun little tassel at the bottom and then your Grammy circle on the top. So this is the High Desert Yarn Mini Skeins from my friend Joanna at High Desert Yarn. Are you guys working up these bookmarks? Let me know in the comments. Um, 
Hey guys, you're watching. I think there's 10 of you watching live right now. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up so that more people can hop on um, and they can find this video. Give me a thumbs up. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, and hello to everyone who's watching the replay. You can also give it a thumbs up. Thank you, thank you. Ooh, so this book is called Create Anyway. It's a book by Ashley Gad. This is a podcaster that I've been listening to, Coffee and Crumbs podcast. It's, um, she's got like a whole online community, like essays and stuff on the blog, I think. Um, but I listen to the podcast and it's really encouraging podcast for mothers. And that's where I am. Anyway, she just published this book about um, creating, even when you're um, like managing your schedule feels impossible, even when there's no, like no time or space to create, just do it anyways. Um, so Joanna from High Desert Yarn, and um, she, I think she recommended it to me. Her and I are going to be doing a little book club with this, just the two of us together um, in private. But if you want to read along with it too, it's called Create Anyway. I have that linked in my Amazon storefront. I don't know if I put a comment here, but it's been so good and encouraging so far. Um, at the end of each one, um, she has like some journaling things you can do. So I'm working on doing my journaling. And then she also has different interviews with other creators. So it's really fun to read about that. And then one of my favorite creators who I've been following for a long time, Elise Joy. I'm sorry, I'm having a really rough time talking. <coughs> Hi, everybody. Sorry about that. Um, anyway, create anyway. I feel like my kids are waking up. <laughs> Okay, another book that I have sitting here is this Crochet Mix for Men. This is a crochet pattern book full of crochet patterns for men. This was written by Michelle Ferguson from Two Brothers Like It. I was on Michelle's launch team and she gave me a, an ebook copy so I could get an advanced advanced ebook copy of her pattern so I could read it and like help promote it. Um, but then I went ahead and I purchased a signed copy from Michelle from her Etsy page. Crochet makes for men. This has so many awesome, handsome <laughs> patterns for men. My husband was flipping through this the other day. He's like, oh, why aren't you making this for me? So I think I really want to make him this green one. Isn't that cool? It's like a hoodie. Definitely going to make that for my husband. Uh, so that's kind of in the works. Um, okay, I talked about the bookmark bonanza. Go ahead, check that out. And then, oh, I was going to have these other patterns here. You might notice this Rainbow Dreams personal picnic blanket here. And then over here, I have the summertime shell uh, bag. Summertime shell bag. These are two of the patterns that I designed for the Crochet Gallery magazine. Uh, this is a digital crochet magazine that I co-published with Helen from Sunflower Cottage Crochet. The Crochet Gallery magazine I have linked um, below. Um, there's There are six exclusive crochet patterns here, and here are two of them. The Summertime Shell Bag and the Rainbow Dreams Picnic Blanket. This is awesome. This is, you guys are going to love, love, love this magazine. Go check it out. It's only $10, and it has six amazing patterns. There's two garments. There's a sun hat. That's also mine, but it's hiding somewhere. Oh, this bag, this blanket, and a beautiful wrap shawl thing that Helen designed. Beautiful, gorgeous. Helen lives in the UK. I live in East Tennessee, but we were able to meet together in April in Colorado. 
And so we did a photo shoot together of these designs and we were able to publish this earlier this month. Crochet Gallery Magazine, only $10 for the first edition. The second edition will be out this fall, um, but the price is gonna increase. So buy it now because you'll get a coupon code for the fall edition as well. Um, so buy the first edition definitely and show your support for me and for Helen in this project that we worked on, the Crochet Gallery Magazine. Um, it is beautiful. Helen did the layout and it is fantastic. Very good job, Helen. Very good job. Okay, guys. Since you're watching here, I'm going to tell you, I haven't told many people. I told the people um, in my mastermind group uh, in Canyon City, I told them that I am designing. I'm going to be publishing a crochet coloring book. <laughs> this coloring book will be perfect for children and for adults um, who love to crochet. I'm not sure what it's going to be called, but if you want to kind of get a sample of what, what it's going to look like, I have an email opt-in down below where you can sign up to get the um, get a sample of the coloring book. So I'm really excited about this. I'm kind of nervous about it because I don't know if any of you guys are going to like it. I'll scratch that. Where's my confidence? I know you guys are going to love this coloring book because I designed it and I know you guys um, support me in whatever I do. So it's not a crochet pattern, but it's going to be a crochet coloring book and this will be perfect for gifts, uh, perfect for you to crochet up or color up for yourself. Um, you could do it with your kids, you could do it with your grandkids. I can see the options are endless. Sign up for my email newsletter and you can get a copy of um, kind of a, a sample of the pages that are going to be in there. I'm not sure when it's going to be published. Uh, I have to create the cover. I should maybe, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. I really have to figure out when I'm going to get this published and how, what that timeline's going to be. But I think I have all of the pages designed. I can always design more pages, but I think it'll be about 40 pages in there. Um, I think it'll be 40 pages. And we'll see. We'll see what else. But you're going to have it in time to use as Christmas gifts. Don't you worry about that. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Um, I definitely wanted you guys to, to learn about that crochet coloring book. Um, I'm just going through <laughs> my description here, making sure I get all of the links. Hey, guys, have you seen this shirt that I'm wearing? It says, uh, the yarn is calling and I must go. This is a shirt from Green Fox Farms Designs. She is fabulous. Lisa is one of my good friends here on the internet. Um, you got these mountains and these pine trees and then yarn and stars. And, oh, I live at the foothills of the Smoky Mountains and I love yarn. So this to me is like perfection. I love this shirt so much. I even have a sweatshirt version of it and a tank top version of it. <laughs> and I've bought all these with my very own money. Um, so go to her Etsy shop and get yourself one of these because they are amazing. Um, do, 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 corner to corner, book my cow, crochet gallery magazine. Sign up for my newsletter. Okay, then I have a few links down below for, um, I'm pretty sure, so for books. So I'm pretty sure that this Create Anyway is going to be my featured book for July. Uh, if you want to see all the books that I've read or listened to, I have a link to my Amazon uh, storefront that has all the books that I've listened to or read this year. Definitely go check those out. I just love to read and I, I'm glad that these bookmarks are encouraging me to read more and more. Um, <clears throat> Some of that's been helping both with my crocheting and my reading uh, is like when I'm on road trips and it's dark and my husband's driving and he doesn't want the bright lights on or I don't want to wake the kids or maybe he's gone to bed at a reasonable hour and I want to stay up and finish my book or stay up and finish my crochet project. 
I've been using my Lumos Knitting Light. Um, my kids also have been using it as a toy. <laughs> um, you might see that there's other crocheters and knitters on the internet who are like um, promoting this. Uh, they might have done a campaign where they gave everybody one of these or gave a bunch of people these um, for a reel and whatever. I paid for this with my own money and y'all were interested in it so much that Lumos gave me a coupon code. <laughs> So use uh, the coupon code Juniper25 to get this uh, knitting light for 25% off. But seriously, I I do use this like uh, for reading when I'm in, I'm taking a bath and I want it to be like dark and I have my candles going, but I need a little extra light without being obnoxious. I use this because I my tub is so small and I'm big and this doesn't go in the water. It works out very, very perfectly. So, talked about that. And then something else cool that I wanted to share with you guys, where I also bought this summer, I bought a um, these loop earplugs because my house is so small and my small kids are so loud that I love them so much. <laughs> but like while I'm doing the dishes or cooking or just like sitting there and crocheting and they're like bang on everything around the house. Yes, they're wild animals and I have some control of them, but I also let them be kids. Instead of me just yelling at them to be quiet all the time, I like to stick these earplugs in my ears and I don't have to, I don't hear all those like extra noises. I can hear their conversations. I can hear if they're yelling for help. I hear like if they come up to me, I can hear them. Um, but I don't hear all the extraneous stuff. <laughs> So for better or for worse, I got these loop earplugs and I've linked them below. I bought these with my own money. I don't have any sort of coupon code with for them yet. But if you guys are interested in these, um, I put a link to Amazon here. Because uh, when I remember to use them, they are a game changer. Though I can hear myself talk more and that's kind of annoying. Like, you know, when you plug your ears and you start talking, you can hear your voice really loud. I don't like that, but if I'm just quiet, it's fine. It works out great. Um, I love them. Uh -huh, uh -huh. That's almost it. But let me not forget, since you guys have watched this all, um, I want to point out that I have a link to buy me a coffee. This is like a self a shameless self plug here. I have a link to buy me a coffee. Um, and what that is, is I provide a lot of free content like these podcasts, um, like crochet patterns and the crochet alongs. Um, and I do get a little bit of ad revenue from those. I'm so close to getting ad, ad revenue from my YouTube. So share this video so I get ad revenue from YouTube. So close. I just need like 500 more watch hours, which might seems a lot, seem a lot, but the requirement is 4,000 and I just have 500 more. So just watch my videos, share these videos. Watch them in the background, like when you're washing the dishes and you're not nowhere near your computer or your phone, just turn it on and have it in the background because I'm so close. And my goal is to get it by October because that's when my mosaic, um, my mosaic tutorials came out was October. And um, those are pretty popular. So um, if we reach October and I haven't reached my goal yet, then those videos, um, those watch hours will fall off and I'll have to start basically over from the beginning. Um, or, you know, those popular videos won't be included in my watch time. So we can do it, guys. We can get 500 watch hours in the next three months. We can do it. Um, but I was talking about buying me a coffee. So what that is, is basically like a little tip jar. You can um, just feel free to put a $5 donation. You can do a monthly recurrence, whatever you want just to say a little thank you to me. Um, and then if you do so, I I like to say a little thank you um, to people who have uh, bought for me. Like, I'm trying to find it here. <laughs> um, so far, some of you have just been so generous and loving. Recently, Robin bought me a coffee. She says, life is coffee. 
or coffee is life, which I agree. Coffee is life. Enjoy. Thank you, Robin, for that donation. Joanne Fleming bought me a coffee. Thank you. As well as Judy. Uh, she says, love your patterns. So thank you guys for showing me support, uh, for watching this video, and for buying me a coffee. I'm a crocheter, a mama of three. I'm a nurse. I'm not really working as a nurse right now because I have three little kids in a crochet business. And uh, I can't work 12 hour shifts and all that, really any shifts because, uh, because why? Because childcare is expensive. <laughs> so I run on water, Jesus and coffee and a little bit of sleep. So coffee is where I need it. And my husband, I sent my husband out to a coffee shop the other day. He came home, he's like, I bought one latte and I spent $7 is getting expensive these days um he said his latte was six dollars and he ate one dollar tip so um can you believe it thank you for you guys' support and i love to create yarn related content like this for you guys so it is an honor a pleasure carolyn hi for the love of crochet hello 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 um Valerie says the coloring book sounds like the greatest Christmas ever. Cool. I'm going to get that published for you ASAP so that you can get that for your three of your friends. Valerie says she needs new lights on her, on her thing here. Her Lumos knitting light. Um, I'm not there yet. Probably... My kids love to press these buttons, as I have been pressing them this whole time. Um, so I bet I'll run out of battery soon. Do you need new batteries or, you know, it has a charger, right? Maybe you do need a bit new batteries, but it does have a charger. I think one of my little babies woke up. It's my griefy, griefy, griefy. Ah! I'm doing a video, my son. You want to come see? Uh, do you want to come say hi? That one? Oh, is it on the table? Or is it? Okay, yeah, you can read that. Okay. Can you, hear Can you turn the page? <laughs> oh. Well, just do the best you can. So, if yours doesn't come with a charger, um, does yours have a, a spot to charge it? Because um, look around, it's like it's a pretty popular charger. So if you if yours has room for it, then maybe you just have one of those chargers lying around your house. Carolyn loves or Caroline, sorry, maybe um, she loves the plants of yard cow, but corner corner is not the thing because I get confused at the corners. Definitely, um, I have tutorials on decreasing, um, and there's a million tutorials out there. So if you need help, go into my Facebook group, and you can learn how to do that. Um, I should probably wrap this up, because my kids are going to start waking up here. Oh, from Hobie. Yeah. Well, if you need to buy a new one because your batteries are dead, well, you probably just change out the batteries, but. You can get 25% off using my code Juniper25. Um, so speaking of books, before I go, I was at the public library with my kids today and I found these Vox books. They're children's books that have like a read aloud thing on them. So it can, yeah. So it's just, come here Griffey, let's show them. So we have this book called Creepy Cram. 
Okay. And in here, it's got like this box on there. And if you turn it on, there's different buttons. Um, you can press that. Box, box, books that talk. Books that talk. Yeah. Can you, can you hear read? that? As you listen to this book, you will hear this sound when it's time to turn the page. Oh, like that. Turn the page yeah. and let's start reading. Read the crayon. Words, Aaron Reynolds. Again? Pictures, Peter Brown. Oh, oh turn the page. Yeah. So oh, they look the same, don't they? The only subject he was they are the same. Oh, this one has that kind of hair. Yeah. Kind of kind of hair. Okay. Yeah. All right, here. You go, go over the couch. You want to take that light with you? Okay. Well. Anyway, thank you guys for watching to the end. It is Griffin. He's my little son. He just woke up from his nap and we're reading this book. Can you press pause? Um, but thanks for watching. Those are what I've been. I press that same button as play and it pressed pause. So I found these at the library today and I thought that'd be kind of fun with you. How did you find It's just how the book was. I didn't add that there. It was just how the book was at the library. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Um, oh, yeah. Maybe, maybe. Can you say goodbye to everybody? Thanks for watching live. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Share this video with anyone who you think would want to watch it. And press that like button so more people can find it. Where? Uh, I'm just telling everybody to do that. Maybe can you tell them uh, hi to uh, those watching the replay? Uh, say hi. Uh, uh, oh yeah, I have <laughs> I have two cameras because one's for my computer and but one's for my phone and this one's a better camera than that one, so I use that one. But anyway, <laughs> a little behind the scenes love. I figure we have. All right, no, we gotta go over here and we're gonna sign off. Say bye bye. And all you all who are watching, say hi, Griffin. Hi, Griffin. Move it up to that red spot. It says end broadcast. Bye, everybody. Can you move that up to that corner? It says end broadcast. Griffin is my little intern here. I should pay him the big bucks, shouldn't I? Right there. Now, now press down. Oh. It didn't quite work, did it? Okay, now we gotta do this one again. Press it again.